Assassin's Creed is probably my most beloved game franchise of all time. The historical time period combined with the music, interesting characters, a sci-fi element that is like no other, engaging but efficient, and a free-running system designed with the precision and agility of an assassin, like an eagle stalking your prey from above, patiently waiting for the right moment to strike. Then, Atonement. With all the guards in the surrounding area on the assassin's pursuit, he flees, at every turn only being seen in the corner of the pursuer's vision. Even the thought of them having the upper edge is crushed when the assassin, in plain sight, blends into the crowd and vanishes as sudden as he appeared. The first Assassin's Creed back in 2007 is in my opinion the pinnacle of the franchise. Yes, there's been 12 other mainline games, but the first game is the absolute alpha of these. Let me tell you the reasoning why I love the first game over all the others. Not saying I don't love the others, they're all good in my biased eyes. I want to go over the three core pillars of Assassin's Creed when talking about this game. Assassinations, parkour and stealth. And I'll tell you why, even with all of its shortcomings, it's still the ultimate Assassin's Creed experience. When it comes to assassinations, Assassin's Creed is simple in its design. You have your throwing knives, which can be used long or short range, and your hidden blade, which can be used stealthily in low profile, or you can assassinate more aggressively using high profile. You can also drop from the rooftops onto your target to assassinate them from above. Now in the next game, Assassin's Creed 2, they did add welcome additions like double assassinations, the ledge assassination, and assassinating from hiding spots. On an occasion, I will try to perform these, but when I realize, oh, this is the first game, I just think, nah, there's another way to look cool here. If what you're going for is style points mixed with efficiency, if you're at that point in Assassin's Creed yet, very fun journey, keep it up. My point is, the game will provide you with all the tools that you need to become a master assassin. Smoke bombs not included. Although they were a very cool addition. Parkour. Parkour in this game is top notch for me. Immediate wall run cancellations, tight streets, buildings to tower over them and jump across. Vaulting, a feature removed from every other AC game until AC3. Now the parkour is very similar to the preceding games, if not a little bit of a downgrade, but honestly, with that vault and the beautiful cities of the Middle East, I come back to this game for the assassin fantasy every time. Let's talk about those beautiful cities, Jerusalem, Damascus and Acre, the perfect settings for this game. And within those cities, it's ultimately the world design which makes me love parkouring around this game. All the Assassin's Creed cities are top notch in design, but the streets of the Middle East, beautiful religious monuments and architecture draw me in every time. It's screaming to me to run, jump, swing and assassinate my way through. It's screaming, you are an assassin in this world, where the rough crowds mean nothing to you. Stealth. This game offers one of the most enjoyable ways to escape guards, hiding amongst priests. In the next game released two years later, Assassin's Creed 2, crowd blending was introduced allowing you to blend into a group of three or more people to become completely invisible to your enemy. Doesn't make the most logical sense when you have Ezio looking like an absolute tanked out armory. It is cool though. In Assassin's Creed 1, you have designated hiding spots. And my second favorite one, which is exclusive to this game, is the group of priests you can blend and pray with when in pursuit. This is beautiful every time it happens, because it really reinforces the idea of hiding in plain sight, mixing in the time period beautifully priest wearing white garments just like your assassin attire due to the time period. It just makes for an engaging, realistic escape. I love it bro. To finish it off, I want to include this. I wasn't going to, but fuck it. Still relevant in some way. The 11th century AD is an absolutely beautiful time period for Assassin's Creed. I'm not biased to it, but it's really breathtaking whenever I'm standing on the rooftops and you can see the rocky hills of the Middle East in the background, even at Akir the first city you go to in the game, besides Masya, and besides the start when you're technically in Jerusalem at Solomon's temple. But anyway, Akkad is amazing to roam around at as well. The coastal feel is a nice change up from the hotter feeling cities in the game like Damascus or Jerusalem, seeing the walls of the city securely built into the rock, protecting it along with the mainland. At the dock, there's a beautiful atmosphere that you don't get anywhere else in the game. I think I've nerded out enough over Assassin's Creed for now, but those are just a brief summaries as to why I prefer the original game back from 2007 when it comes to the core pillars and 
maybe a little bit more. Yes, these things were improved in future games, but Assassin's Creed still holds up to where, in my opinion, it's still the best game in the franchise. But thank you so much for watching. If you are not a subscriber and a part of this 98% and you did enjoy, consider subscribing. It's easy, it's free. And also, if you like to see some history-related topics, I do some of that on you as well. Some more gaming I find interesting. And if there's something you want me to check out, leave it in the comments. Speaking of comments, leave yours down below with your opinions on my take or Assassin's Creed in general. General. I'd love to discuss it with some fans or just people that don't know too much about the franchise. That's cool as well. Anyway, have a good rest of your day. This has been me, Andrew. Bye-bye.